is up, everybody? Uh, so we are one week away from the Baseball Card National in Cleveland, Ohio, and I will be there. I'm heading, uh, flying there Thursday night, coming back Sunday morning, so that should give me all day Friday, all day Saturday, and uh, just really looking forward to sort of documenting the experience. I know a lot of people will not be able to make it, um, and hopefully they'll be able to sort of live vicariously through all the people that will be there, through the videos. Uh, I will try to post what I can on Friday and Saturday, but I'll probably also try to take some of it back so I can edit it down. Uh, but really looking for a big part of it is, uh, you know, also looking forward to, you know, meeting people in the YouTube community. Uh, so make sure uh, if you do see me uh, that we uh, get a chance to talk to each other. I'll be wearing uh, this fanny pack right here. <laughs> I'll be wearing, I'm wearing the fanny pack. I don't care. I'm going to wear the fanny pack um, and I'll probably, um, you know, have my custom card and ready to hand it out. Uh, so if anybody comes over and says hello, I just, you know, again, I think it would be hilarious if like, you know, you see like Cal Ripken standing right there and then somebody's like, oh my God, it's Silver Jackify. And they like run right past Cal Ripken and go to, <laughs> I know that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, but, um, yeah, but if you see me, um, it would be awesome, you know, come over, say hello, um, and, uh, just looking forward to meeting people, obviously looking forward to, um, just checking out what's going on at the national. I was just looking at the list here. It, like, here's just a quick, these are the people that I wrote down of, of people that will be at the national Mike Tyson, Hulk Hogan, Dennis Rodman, Julius Irving, Dominique Wilkins, Albert Pujols, Cal Ripken Jr., Pete Rose, Reggie Jackson, Robin Yount, Roger Clemens, Frank Thomas, Johnny Bench, Barry Sanders, Jack Lambert, Lawrence Taylor, Bob Gib Gibson, Henry Winkler, and Hanson. Hanson's going to be there. <laughs> that's just who I wrote down. I don't know why I wrote, like, I wrote down Hanson is like, you know, that's, that's the key, the key uh, group to see while you're there. So, uh, pretty awesome lineup of, you know, if you're into, you know, just meeting celebrities, getting autographs, that's not my thing. I'm more of a, a baseball card collector, but if you are somebody that likes to collect, you know, autographs, I mean, could there be a better venue for that? So um, anyway, uh, oh, so another thing is my uh, giveaway. So my 2000 subscriber giveaway, when I did the video, I was uh, approaching 2,000. I'm now well over 2,000. I'm at 2055. And um, I've gotten a ton of awesome, awesome response. I think I have over 260 comments, almost 170 likes, no dislikes, which is shocking. I'm sure somebody's gonna now going to go <laughs> and dislike the video now. But 170 likes. Uh, and I, so I have to go through a long list of entries. Like I said, um, so the contest ends this Thursday night. So you still have two more days to get your entries in, the 26th. And uh, again, all you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and you'll be eligible to uh, either win this, the, uh, the Bryce Harper in a PSA 10, or uh, this, and or, uh, this Aaron Judge short print PSA 10. And all you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and do a quick comment. And uh, now there, there was something else that I asked for people to do, uh, and that was to uh, do a cannonball or something, just jump into the pool uh, and maybe say epic giveaway or something like that. Um, so far, I've only gotten about like five to ten entries, but every single one of those entries has, <laughs> has been absolutely hilarious. I've loved, loved, loved the entries that I've seen so far. Uh, and um, I, I'm telling you guys right now, if you, if you have a chance to jump into like, you know, something like a tiny pool or whatever, uh, you'll be eligible to win this Shohei Otani in a PSA 10. So this is like a $200 card and you probably have like a 10% chance of winning it because <laughs> so, there's been so few ent entries. So um, awesome, awesome response to the, uh, the giveaway. 
Uh, now I just wanna, uh, I also want to do a quick video response. Um, so uh, Baseball Card Junkies, uh, they are a, another channel. If you're not familiar with them, then you probably don't watch a lot of baseball card videos. But they are also doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway and uh, wanted to do a response video for them. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and do a quick response for them. All right, guys, so before I get into uh, Baseball Card Junkies TV response, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, so recently I picked up the 89 Bowman Griffey and the 89 Score traded in a PSA 10. Uh, and to continue my quest of picking up, you know, the 1989 Griffey cards in a PSA 10, uh, I picked up this card, the 89 Fleer Griffey Jr. Uh, in a PSA 10. Uh, picked this up for... I think under 35 bucks. Uh, it's amazing how cheap you can get these cards. Totally not worth submitting to PSA if you can get them for, for that cheap. Uh, so picked that card up. Actually picked it up with eBay bucks. Uh, eBay bucks, which I literally just discovered a couple of months ago. And so basically got that card for free. Uh, so there you have it. The, that was one of my uh, newest additions. Uh, so like I was saying, Baseball Card Junkies TV, they just reached... 2,000 subscribers, and uh, they asked for two things. Um, four of your favorite cards from your B-side collection, and then also where did the name of your channel come from? So I will get, you guys know, uh, the name of my channel is Silver Jackify. I will get into why my channel is named that uh, in a little bit, but first, I wanna do my top 10 I decided to do top 10. I know they asked for only four of my top 10 favorite B-side cards. Uh, so at number 10, and I, 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 I'm not a big B-side, you know, card collector. <laughs> I add, I put this at number 10 just because it's like, like one of the funniest cards I've ever, like I pulled this in a pack and it's just a uh, authentic baseball bat. You know, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, um, I, I don't know how it would be anything other than an authentic uh, baseball bat like if it, if it wasn't authentic that would actually be pretty cool uh, but this is uh, just a real feel authentic baseball bat and uh, from a b-side collection I thought it was great just because it's uh, one of my favorite uh, in terms of like just random just total randomness um, at number nine so um, growing up I was a huge WWF and I'm still I still call it WWF to this day a huge WWF fan, and um, my favorite player growing up, and I think these are from uh, 1990, oh, 1990 Classic. So um, I've had these cards in my collection forever, um, and I was a huge, huge Ultimate Warrior fan. I love the Ultimate Warrior, and uh, I think the reason why I stopped watching WWF was because, look at some of the Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Andre the Giant. Um, these are just some really, really cool cards that uh, I just happen to have in my collection that maybe you wouldn't expect I'd have it. Um, and uh, the Warrior, Mr. Perfect, <laughs> the Warrior kept on like leaving and then coming back. And, and I think what annoyed me about it is there was never any explanation as to why, like with the WWF, guys would just come and go without any explanation as to why they left. But Warrior would come, and then he'd leave, and then he'd do this uh, awesome comeback, and then he would, and then he would do two matches, and then be gone again. And um, because I was such a huge Ultimate Warrior fan, it, it actually turned me off from watching it. I don't really watch um, wrestling anymore. Uh, but back when I was a kid, I remember um, you know spending sixty, seventy dollars on pay per view to uh, see you know SummerSlam and WrestleMania. And I love the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite things. So anyway, so they, oh, there's the Ultimate Warrior again. <laughs> the Honky Tonk Man. I remember all these guys. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Got a whole, like, I got this one. And I got, like, a whole nother stack of this. Of more cards from uh, the WWF. So that is uh, number nine. At number eight, um... Just sort of a, a random thing. So uh, I I remember growing up, I thought th these were so cool. So this is just a regular Daryl Strawberry card. You know, it has on the back, it has, you know, the stats and stuff. Um, and I, maybe this is special to me because I ripped so many 
89 Don Russ and 89 Tops cards and never got an error out of any of those cards uh, except in one pack. I got these two cards, which look like normal everyday cards, and then on the back uh, was a blank back. And I don't know, like, for you know, as a kid growing up, I was like, oh my goodness, it's it's got no, you know, no stats on the back. So I, I don't know. Growing up, I always thought th these cards were really, really cool. They've been in my collection forever. And um, some of my favorite uh, cards in my collection, believe it or not. And then uh, recently I pulled out a pack that had no name on the, the whole pack had no name on the bottom. Uh, so you have Stefan Ramiro. I have a couple of others. You could obviously, this is uh, Felix Hernandez, no name on the bottom. And then Naftali Soto Rookie, again, no name on the bottom. So thought that was kind of cool. Uh, so that's number seven. At number six, <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this. Um, I have a love-hate relationship uh, with, with the big set. And I believe this is the entire big set for some reason in um, cellophane wrap. <laughs> I think my grandma uh, at one point got, got a hold of these cards and put them all into, into um, cellophane wrap, if I can get it out. But um, And for those of you that remember this set, um, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying in terms of a love-hate relationship. Uh, these cards, uh, obviously they didn't fit uh, in any of the top loaders, in the, the nine page uh, holders, so, I, I didn't. I never knew what to do with them, and maybe that's why they ended up in Saran wrap. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, Greg Matthews, Claude Washington. There you go. Mark McGuire, Burt Blylevin. I'm pretty sure this is the entire set. Uh, 170. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I thought it was. Uh, I actually have two of these. And. Uh, Kind of a, you know, and you got the uh, the cartoons on the back. Uh, they obviously uh, mirror the uh, 1955 tops and 56 top sets. So um, I don't know. I don't know whether I love these cards or hate them. But um, none, nonetheless, on um, there he is, Don Mattingly. Oh, that card's awesome. Um, at number five, uh, and I've shown this card. I think I picked this card up last year, and. Um, Great uh, card to put on the B side, in my opinion. It's one of those cards that a you know a lot of people you know obviously would have absolutely no interest in, uh, but for me, this card is a part of baseball history. I love it. Um, Brian Taylor. I remember you know growing up and thinking that this guy was going to be the next huge thing. And um, there's a very limited amount of these particular cards. Uh, again, this was part of a complete set. So the only way you'd be able to get this was through the gold complete set. And this was the last card in the set, number 793. One of the first cards ever that was tops issued with the autograph in there. And you can see here, this is a 9.5, 10 nine um, auto of a very unique card, a uh, guy that threw over 100 miles an hour and then unfortunately got into a bar fight <laughs> and ruined his entire career. Um, at number four, uh, so this guy, um, Eric Montross, uh, I don't, you know, th again, th these are kind of random, but Eric Montross uh, growing up was my favorite basketball player. If, I don't even know, like, I used to go and play uh, basketball all the time with my buddies, and when he was on the Tar Heels, he was um, just fun to watch, and he'd sl you know do slam dunk. He kind of reminds me of uh, Gronkowski a little bit, um, and I I used to call myself Eric Montross when I was on the basketball court, and uh, I just picked out a couple of cards of Eric Montross. Um, not a, a basketball card collector at all, uh, but um, own a bunch of Eric Montross cards. And so just randomly, just thought I would point that out. Uh, at number three, um, so my dad, my dad worked uh, for Nabisco and um, Milkbone was one of Nabisco's products. Uh, they later became Kraft Nabisco. And uh, one day my dad came home with these. Uh, these this is like a whole set of Milkbone uh, of basically baseball players with their dogs. 
And uh, it's a pretty cool set. You know, Joe Girardi, uh, Brady Anderson with his dog, Craig Biggio. I just loved some of the outfits that they're wearing in these pictures. Paul Molitor, Tom Glavin. You got some uh, pretty big stars, too. Mark McGuire, Bill, as I say that, Bill Swift, <laughs> Ken Caminiti, uh, Will Clark, Raphael. Wow, look at that outfit on Raphael Palmero. Uh, Matt Young, Todd Zeal with his dog, Wally Joyner, uh, Cal Ripken with his dog, Tom Foley with his dog Annie, Larry Walker with Shammy, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, Rob Dibble with Taylor, and uh, Brett but Butler with Beanie and Cecil. So uh, just love this little set that I have, uh, and I thought it'd be cool to pull that out. Um, so somehow I must have lost track, but I have three cards left. So three, two, one. So we have, um, this is, and I, I showed this one time. I love this card. Uh, this, uh, for those, for those young, younglings out there that, uh, remember, uh, this is, um, or probably don't remember. This is a phone card. And what you would do is you'd use this. Uh, you could scratch the code off. I doubt I could use it anymore. I should, I should try that number out, 1-800-510-0045. And um, it was basically a way of like, so what would, the reason why I ended up buying this is because I, uh, when I used to go to Europe, there was one time I had a girlfriend that I would call and I racked up a $200 phone bill by calling, like doing a five minute phone call while I was in Europe. And so from then on in, whenever I traveled, I always made sure to buy these uh, calling cards. And uh, one day we broke up and <laughs> never had to use this, uh, this calling card. So it's an unused calling card of uh, Babe Ruth, which I don't know, for some reason it's just uh, kind of a, a memory of history and has Babe Ruth on, on it. 10 minute calling card that was never used. So uh, absolutely love that. Um, at number two, uh, and I figured, uh, what the hell, I'll just go ahead and open this. I, I picked this up recently when I was in Canada. Uh, I used to love these Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, so it, this is from the third series, and let's go ahead and open it. <laughs> I, like, love these cards. And then here's some, some gum. I am not going to eat that. Target Margaret. Let's see. Bruised Lee, <laughs> that's awesome. Horsey Henry, Well Done Sheldon, and Mac Quack. So I, wow, I rem actually remember a bunch of those uh, growing up. That um, I used to buy those. My mom would always make a joke that all, all I would do is open those cards, throw them in a box, and forget about them. And one day she threw away all of my Garbage Pail Kids. So all... These are the only five in my collection, uh, and, uh, and I, I used to have thousands of them. And then at number one in terms of B-side collection, which is uh, shouldn't come as much of a surprise, uh, is this 1981 Nashville Sounds Arby's card. Uh, this is Don Mattingly's first ever card, his minor league card in a PSA 10. And uh, to me, it's a, it's a B-side card. You know, it's an Arby's card, so... Uh, and of course, it's of my favorite baseball player ever. So there you have it. Uh, again, baseball card junkies TV. Um, but before, so the name Silver Jackify comes from a cartoon that my brother and I did. Uh, first movie was called Lester, and then we did another thirty-minute cartoon called Fester. And uh, so, basically, that was the main character. His name was Pterodactyl. <laughs> It was sort of like supposed to be like South Park, but in medieval times, and it didn't make any sense. Uh, but everyone's uh, favorite character, these, all these characters are basically there to just drive this guy crazy. Uh, and everybody's favorite character was this guy right here. Uh, his name was Silver Jack. And uh, he was the grandfather of the main character. Uh, and when I created my YouTube channel, um, I tried to put in Silver Jack because I didn't know I was going to be doing uh, any videos, but I just put Silver Jack in. Of course, that was taken, so uh, YouTube recommended Silver Jackify, and that is where Silver Jackify comes from, from that guy.
<laughs> um, if anybody's interested in, you know, seeing a clip of the, uh, the cartoon, just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And um, again, uh, take a look at Baseball Card Junkies TV. I uh, will be posting videos from the National, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.